hi everybody in this tutorial i'm going to talk about how to reduce the ttib time for this we have to first thing we have to do the enabling catching on our website if we if we use wordpress we may use w3tc or wp super catch that uh, okay uh, our server level we may implement some other things here another thing is to reduce the tcp connections by concatenating resources because every tcp connection takes some other time uh, reduce the page time yeah this is a good idea some many of us don't know don't focus on reducing the page size but he try may try to improve the page speed okay if we decrease the page size automatically page speed will be increased so decrease the page size uh, compression is already every server at automatically is default we don't need to do anything actually we need to implement brutal compression image optimization is very important because second it so first intensive resource is images and second one is javascript so we have to check the, the details about these resources first one at the server level we have to enable the opcatch for php uh, install the mem memcached or redis for object catching for mysql purpose and uh, install the page speed model to automate the google page speed role this may be some conflict with uh, some setting but we have to use that implement fast cgi catch for nginx to avoid to avoid uh, sql queries uh, if you are not using nginx then apache uh, you may use nginx as reverse proxy it's better than fast cgi catch and another thing is tune your configuration files server nginx mysql php and linux and focus on your security rate limiting mm. improve the network performance you may increase the what byte size input output size editing the linux is a security config file monitor the error logs this is all i am doing right now this is maybe helpful for you something here uh, we may overview the 